Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys how you could have almost made $100,000 just from following what I've been telling you guys to do for the very longest. Now, everyone always walks up to me, hey, what, what should I invest into? What should I buy? Should I buy this? Should I buy that? And the first thing I always say, I say, hey, buy stocks of companies that you actually use support and own now for example there are many guys out there that have bought every single pair of jordans that ever came out but they don't own any shares of nike inside of their portfolio at all that just don't make sense now the example that i'm going to give you guys today i've seen time after time after time after time again this is the most real life example that i could give you guys to where you could have made one hundred thousand dollars just from investing into companies that you actually use, own, or know about, or see every single day. And that company is Apple. People out there buy the iPhone every single year. The biggest and baddest new iPhone. There are two iPhones released every single year, but let's just say they buy one. They buy the biggest, baddest, newest iPhone every single year for the last 10 years, right? So I'm gonna show you guys what would have happened if you would have bought Apple stock every single year instead of the newest iphone every single year how much money you could have made that's right guys um the, your iphone not gonna get you rich but their stock can well maybe your iphone can get you rich depending on what you're doing inside your phone but for the most part this nice stable and strong company this is probably one of the richest companies in the world a trillion dollar market evaluation this company is insane guys but before we dive into this video this video is brought to you by Webull. sign up now by clicking the link down in the description just for signing up you get a free stock valued up to three hundred dollars and if you deposit just five dollars that's right just five dollars you get another free stock valued up to two thousand dollars so that's twenty three hundred dollars combined guys so don't miss out on that opportunity also i left a link in the description to BlockFi over there if you deposit some cryptocurrency to BlockFi, you can earn up to an extra 250 dollars in cryptocurrency and over there on BlockFi, just from depositing your cryptocurrency you can earn interest on your cryptocurrency every single month right now i'm up around 300 dollars in cryptocurrency just from in passive income every single month over there guys so i'm gonna leave both of those links down in the description but enough talking let's go ahead and dive straight into this video welcome back german so we're gonna go back over the last 10 years i know this is something that you probably you're looking for the next big bad stock this is something that you probably don't want to hear but this is what you need to know guys i'm telling you don't click out this video go down hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell because i'm gonna keep it real with you everyone is t telling you about these companies that have the potential to grow in the future but i'm telling you about a company that is doing amazing right now and, I, and i'm not gonna beat around the bush this is one of the best investments i've had inside of my portfolio and i and, and i will be messed up if i didn't tell you guys i'm not gonna tell you about a new company every single week i'm gonna give you guys what's been making me money and that's apple so let's just go back to the last 10 years and say we bought the biggest baddest iphone um every single year for the last 10 years and 10 years ago i think it was the iphone 4s it, is that the first iphone that had video on it i think it is the first iphone that had video on it but let's go ahead and pull that up right quick all right guys so here we are the first original price of the iphone 4s was 649 dollars so here we are on the portfolio of visualizers let's say we started back in 2010 around 10 years ago it's 2021 but 2021 is not over let's say we bought our first iphone for 649 dollars um every year after that let's look at what the price of the iphone is right now uh iphone pro let's say we're buying the biggest and baddest guys i know at one point iphone got up to like 900 dollars right after the four s around the five that's it buy and right now the base pro model is um thousand the uh, pro max is um 1100 but if we're looking at the biggest baddest model is around 1300 dollars 1299 dollars so let's just say every year after that um averaging out we're paying around a thousand dollars per phone so let's just say we're buying one thousand dollars worth of apple 
um, every single year. So we're going to reinvest this annually, not monthly. So that's us buying one new iPhone every single year. Let's go ahead and scroll down. We're going to rebalance. We're going to reinvest our dividends. We're going to invest 100% of our portfolio into Apple. And then we're going to hit analyze portfolio. And there we go, guys. Starting off with the iPhone 4S with six hundred and forty nine dollars and buying stocks of Apple instead of buying the new phone of Apple every single year. We'll have close to one hundred thousand dollars worth of Apple. That is insane. That's just 10 iPhones, 10 iPhones. Right now we have almost one hundred thousand dollars worth of Apple in just the last 10 years if we would have bought stock instead of Apple. So what I'm trying to tell you guys, just look at this. Look at this. This is, is completely insane, guys. So what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you, you can still buy the Apple iPhone. But if you're spending a thousand dollars every single year on, on the Apple iPhone, make sure that you have at least one thousand dollars worth of Apple stock inside of your portfolio. Right. So don't buy a new iPhone until you have the same amount of value worth of Apple stock that you bought the exact same year. So let's say the iPhone 13 is about to come out and it's worth $1,100. I would need to invest $1,100 earlier that year into Apple before I go buy the new iPhone. So that means I have a year to invest $1,100 into Apple. So let's just say I'm investing around $100 a month into Apple, right? So that leaves me with $1,200 to invest into Apple. Therefore, I could go ahead and buy the new iPhone because over time, that $100 investment to Apple is going to make me a lot more money than I would actually need to buy the new iPhone 13 that is coming out. So don't just apply this to Apple. If you watch Netflix every single day and you were a cable cutter and you haven't had cable, satellite or any kind of expensive TV for the, the longest because all you do is watch Hulu and Netflix, go ahead and invest into Netflix because I promise if you was investing to Netflix when you was watching Netflix in college, you have so much money right now because Netflix is up to $500 per share. That's, that goes with anything else that you see value in that you use. If it's a product that you use every single day, then I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good product that other people use. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to be somewhat successful inside the stock market. So that is one of the strategies that I use. That's a strategy that I'm always going to tell someone new that's new to investing to go ahead and start off investing into companies that you actually know and companies that you actually use. Let me know what you think about my strategy down in the comment section and also down in the comment section. Tell me, are you one of those people that bought a new iPhone every single year when it comes out? I'm telling you, this is not a crazy uh, um, idea. This is not a crazy situation. There are literally people out there that buys the new iPhone every single year. And I think I might be one of them. So, yeah. Uh, so you guys already know what I'm going to start doing with my money. Actually, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I had the iPhone 4S for ever before I upgraded. I think I went from the 4S to almost the 8 until Apple updated the software to the day was like, hey, your iPhone is not going to work anymore. You need to upgrade your phone. So I'm not one of those guys, but there are people out there that do it, guys. So let me know if you're one of those people down in the comment section and what you think about this strategy down in the comment section. But other than that, don't forget to pick up your two free stocks by clicking the link down in the description to Weeble. Um, just for signing up, you get a free stock and deposit five dollars. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Deposit five dollars and get another free stock valued up to two thousand dollars. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bring you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.